Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have got some fun little ideas for you. Now, you're probably wondering, and like a lot of you have been asking me, what should I ask for for Christmas when it comes to art supplies? I have three art supplies you should ask for this Christmas. And, you know, they're, they're basic stocking stuffers and you need to ask Santa, hey, you need to drop this underneath my Christmas tree. The first one, as you see, that I'm demonstrating this cute little penguin on is the Koi Watercolor Palette. You can get this at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And you can see that I found the Michael's one. You saw that. And then if you look up in the other corner, you can see that I can also, and you can also, buy the Koi watercolors off of Amazon. So there are multiple ways to find this art supply. Now, I would definitely recommend Koi watercolors because one, they're very inexpensive compared to Winsor and Newton watercolors. The palettes, that is. And they come in the tube watercolors and they come in the palettes and they have many, many different numbers of the palettes. Like I have the 30 here and I know they have like a 48 and I even think they have like a 70 and then they have all these different colors and they come with so many pluses, the Koi watercolors do. Like I saw one that was a sparkle neon palette and I wanted to buy it right away. So <laughs> you just keep in mind to use those coupons and Amazon always has a bunch of deals too. So make sure you check out those coupons and everything. And if you're looking for a watercolor palette, Koi watercolors, I've been using these for about six years now. I'm in love with them. Now let's jump on over to the next thing. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what markers should I get Priscilla? What markers? I want to try to do alcohol-based markers, but where's a good starting point? I would recommend the Ohuhu alcohol-based markers. You can only get these on Amazon or on their website, but I would definitely recommend Amazon, especially if you have Amazon Prime. So Ohuhu markers are really nice to work with. They have two different tips. They have a chisel tip and then a fine point tip, and they blend so well. And look how pretty these colors are with my little penguin. He's so cute. And you'll see how well they blend together. Oh, and if you're looking for liners, I'm a huge fan of the PN Micron liners. Now you want to get the Micron liners because they do not bleed with your alcohol based markers. Now that's a huge, huge thing. They do not bleed. So if you put liners on, you can see that I am applying all my alcohol based marker, the Ohuhu markers around the Micron and you see nothing is smudging. That is a huge, huge tip when it comes to picking the right kind of liners for Christmas or for in the future. You want the Micron liners because they will not bleed in your alcohol-based markers or smudge. They dry really, really fast and I'm obsessed with the PN too. Definitely try one of those. Okay, so you see, I'm using my PN again. I just really like the PN Micron liners because they have the ability to be a fine, fine tip and they also have the ability to get really thick. For the last art supply, I suggest for you to ask Santa for this Christmas are Prismacolor Pencils Soft Core. Now, I have tried different colored pencils. I've tried the Faber-Castell and nothing quite touches Prismacolor Pencil Soft Core because they blend so well. They're great colors and I would suggest to go in with a coupon, chop those prices in half. I know it's scary. This is from Michaels, but if you go into Michaels with the intention of using the coupon of 40% off or 50% off right now, then guess what? You're going to chop the prices in half. But what I would suggest is to get a basic package of 36 or 24 Prismacolor Soft Core Pencils. And then the best thing about Michaels and Hobby Lobby is they have the little dispensers as you can see and what you can do is you can just take individual pencils and build up your collection from there that's what I do that's a lot what a lot of other artists do but that is just it's just a better way instead of buying like the 136 package was it which is ginormous so <laughs> it's just an easier more you know keep it in the budget for Christmas kind of way to approach it but I would definitely suggest Prismacolor pencils I've been working with them for 10 years since since I was 18 years old, I'm 28 now, and I don't really stray away from this Prismacolor colored pencils brand. 
But yes, guys, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed my little penguin drawings and that you now know what to ask Santa for Christmas or like a little stocking stuffer. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Have a wonderful Christmas. Bye.